Alright, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Tries and Tribulations. I keep wanting to say Justice for All for some reason, and even though that was like two years ago. Anyway, uh, what, do, what do we do now? We need to do the, do the thing. Yeah. Uh, you want to see the court record, right? Uh, no. Um... Go to the next one. This one. Yeah. So present. Oh, yeah. Um, Phoenix's testimony. Right. Yeah, the umbrella, right? No, his no, testimony. Testimony. <laughs> that one. Got there it. There was a loud sound when it happened. Yeah. Yes. Objection! You say you didn't hear any noise. Is that correct? Yes. That's why I was very relaxed looking at the scenery around me. <laughs> That's nice, but I find that just a little odd. I have here the testimony of your boyfriend, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And he clearly testified to the effect that when he pushed the victim, he heard a sharp, loud noise. He said that? If you were really that close to the two of them, why didn't you hear this noise as well? Because she wasn't paying attention. She daydreams a lot. Because <laughs> she a hoe. <laughs> that, okay. Well, maybe the noise wasn't all that memorable. Attention! But according to Mr. Wright's testimony, it was a sharp noise like a snap. There's no way a noise like that could fail to make an impression. Ah. Uh. <laughs> um. May I have a moment to answer? By all means. I know the reason why I didn't hear the noise. Was it your butterflies? Did they distract you? You see, the truth is... I had my headphones on and I was listening to music at the time. Of course you were! I can't see you're wearing headphones. Yeah, me neither. This doesn't work. <laughs> headphones? You mean that both of your ears were covered? The rain is just beginning to let up. That's dangerous. What are you gonna you did? But it seemed as though Thor wasn't ready for his fun to come to an end yet. Hmm. Lightning? So the sky continued to flash and rumble. Thunder and lightning, huh? Yes, I'm afraid of the sound of thunder. Okay then. <laughs> so I put my headphones on to block it out. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Your Honor, as you can see, there weren't any contradictions in her testimony after all. Hmm. Wait a sec, Mia. That testimony just now. She said something that could totally change this whole case. Uh, there was lightning. There was lightning. Your Honor, there is a problem with the witness's testimony. What do you mean? Didn't you notice? She said there was lightning, correct? Yeah, lightning from Final Fantasy XIII showed up. I was like, what the fuck? What the hell's going on? What? Yes, what about it? Well, lightning is actually a large discharge of electricity in the atmosphere. Am I right? Now's not time for a science lesson, Miss Faye. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Anyway, since the cause of death was electrocution... Isn't it possible that the victim died from being hit by a bolt of lightning? Oh, ah. Uh, would... <laughs> this time it said Dahlia was pain. Who knows? <laughs> hmm. I must admit that thought had not occurred to me. Just what kind of thoughts do occur to this guy anyway? I don't know. <laughs> Women. <laughs> This entire case is built on the premise that Mr. Doug Swallow was murdered. But that very premise itself is mistaken. 
The defense believes that Mr. Swallow was, in fact, victim of a stray bolt. Hmm. It, it appears the defense may be onto something. Could it be that the death was actually an accident? Or was actually accidental? All right, you did it, Mia. I'll be taking that not guilty. Hee 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 hee. I've heard that you've such a little of me, Miss Faye. Huh? Not a fool, you know. The prosecution's done its research, Your Honor. We found there were no lightning strikes on the on that day at that location. What? What's more, we've ever been we've evidence that the electric cable is definitely linked to this case. Evidence, Mr. Payne. Well, what is this evidence? This affidavit. And who's this affidavit from? The pharma pharmacology oh, no. students were conducting experiments in their labs that day. Let me read out loud to the court the testimony of the pharmacology students. All our equipment in the labs lost power all of a sudden at 3 p.m. that day. Was it a blackout? All of the lab's equipment runs on high voltage, runner. So you're saying the equipment lost power because... Precisely. Lost power because of the severed electrical cable. The barrage occurred at approximately 3 p.m. Which fits within the time of death listed in the autopsy report. Exactly. In other words... The victim died is, uh, is touching the severed electrical cable. According to the students, the cables were very old. They're planning and have them replaced in the near future. Hmm, I see. Apparently, the cables have become so brittle that even the smallest bump would have caused them to break. That's not safe at all. Wow, yeah, that's a little messed up. Hmm, however, there's one thing that troubles me. If the cable could have been broken by any small bump, then it wouldn't have snapped if it had been bumped into, correct? Well, I suppose you could say that. Hmm, Miss Faye. Do you have any thoughts regarding the cause of the severed cable? Y Your Honor? I don't like how this is looking one bit. I have to come up with something to try to regain some momentum. If it pleases the court, the defense would like to state its opinion. Well then, let's hear it. Who was it caused the cable to break? Uh. Was it the umbrella? Mm. Or the medicine? Or the the victim? Or the his watch? Or the, the students did it. Um, the umbrella? The umbrella? Ye yes? Okay, let's go for it. This is it. This is why the cable snapped. Well, Your Honor. Oh. Lou's only thing that snapped is the mind of the defense. Yeah, because that would be under him. Yeah. Right. Oh, that was Shit. one of your best lines yet, Your Honor. Mm. Ouch, that was harsh. Please, Your Honor, give me one more chance. Well then, let's hear it. Who or what was it that caused the cable to break? Who or what was it that caused the cable to break? Maybe he knocked into it because he was like over there. Oh, 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 Phoenix? No. Because Phoenix pushed well, him? Yeah, maybe Phoenix or maybe just the, the guy hitting the pole or something. I don't know. Because oh, okay. the, the umbrella's down, down the way, but. So. 
Okay, do the photo then. The photo? I think it's the photo. Alright. Let's give it a go. Take this is it. This is why the cable snapped. Nope. I told you, present was... Phoenix right. You're the one who said the picture. I... sorry. Do Phoenix! Fine, Phoenix! God! There we go. Thanks. <laughs> Your Honor, please think back to Mr. Wright's testimony. The different testimony. He said that after he pushed the victim, he heard a loud, sharp noise. Now, this happened at around 3 p.m., correct? Yes, that sounds right. Wait, are you saying that... The lab equipment lost power at 2.55 p.m., which fits right in Mr. Wright's timeline. In other words, it was Mr. Wright's shove that caused the power outage. Yes, the prosecution also came to that same conclusion. It was a very shove that caused Mr. Swallow to be electrocuted. I'm afraid I can't agree with you there, Mr. Payne. What's that supposed to mean? Take a good look at where the victim landed after being shoved. See the umbrella? It's by the electrical pole. That's right, the victim banged into that pole as a result of being pushed. It was that impact that caused the cable to break. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. And the victim see, was electrocuted. See, I was thinking the umbrella because, like, maybe it got caught and pulled it, but then I remembered they said that he fell on his umbrella, so that yeah. couldn't have been it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor, but no, it doesn't make sense at all. Wah wah! If the victim was shoved into the far pole, then he couldn't have been electrocuted by this severed cable in the foreground here. What about the smaller one? Ah! <laughs> in other words, someone other than my client must have electrocuted the victim. Order! Order in the court! Huh. The, the, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. the limitations of my enemy, how I've longed to hear them. It's true. The defense is absolutely correct. There doesn't seem to be any way the defendant could have... Um, Mr. Judge, sir, may I say something? Madam Attorney's explanation. She said some things that are a little different than I remember them. What? 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 <laughs> what the? <laughs> please, just once more. May I please testify one more time? Please, Mr. Judge? Of course it's all right. Go ahead and give your new testimony. This is it. She's finally starting to show her true colors. What do you know, Mia? What do you know? Are her colors blue? <laughs> the truth is, Feeny pushed him twice. What? Why? First time was into the electrical pole. That's when the cable broke. Then Doggy tried his best to run away from him. But Feeny caught up and crashed into him from behind. Cable snapping and Doggy being electrocuted. It all occurred in less than a minute. Uh, what? that's wrong. Press that statement. Press. Hmm, so after being shoved, the victim got up and tried to run away. And this is when the defendant pushed him for the second time. And that's doing the other thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Feeny, but I, I just have to tell the truth. Am I doing the right thing? Am I, Mr. Judge? Of course you are, my dear. As painful as it may seem, you are. Now then, Miss Faye, we must proceed with your cross-examination. Press that last statement. Press, Press it. Press the last one. Press it.
This one. This one. Did you actually witness the moment the victim was electrocuted? I... am sorry. I didn't actually see it. I... I turned my eyes away. That's understandable. Yes, indeed. Would have been a horrific sight for anyone to behold. If I don't figure out the contradiction here... It's all over. She didn't have much time to come up with her lie, so this is my best chance. There must be a hole in her testimony somewhere. Think, Mia. Oh, are we just supposed to present on that statement then? Yeah, I thought we were supposed maybe. to press it. Well, the second crime photo is what gives this away. Yeah, so let's go with that. Because she said it happened in less than a minute, but... um. I mean, the, the, his... the students were like, it, it died at then, and his watch was stopped at. 305. 305, Yeah. Like, press like that. Press minutes. that photo. So, do it. Do the thing. That's enough, witness. I'm afraid I don't understand. You will in a minute. Could you please take a look at this picture? Oh, that medicine. That's the one Feeney likes to take for his cold. It's not the medicine I want you to look at. It's the wristwatch. It stopped at the precise time the victim was electrocuted. In other words, 3.05 p.m. Yes, and your point is, Miss Fay. My point is this. What time was it when the lab suffered that power outage due to the cable snapping? Well, according to the student's testimony, the answer is clear. It was 5.55 p.m. Yeah. You mean 2.55 p.m.? Because you what said 5.55. It was 5.55. They don't know the, those students don't know what they're talking about. They don't know time. Yes, it was... It was Would you care to explain to the court, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? What exactly happened during this 10 minute interval? Don't you mean like 3 hour and 10 minutes? The defense proposes that. It was during this interval that the real murderer killed Mr. Doug Swallow. Order! Order in the court! What's this all about? This is nonsense! The real murderer! Even you can't deny that the time between the cable breaking and the electrocution are completely unaccounted for. Th then who was it? Who are you saying could have done it? Sass. <laughs> There's only one person who could have murdered Mr. Swallow. Only after my client had left the scene was there a window of opportunity for the real killer. Miss Fay, is defense ready to indict someone as the real killer? It's finally time. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Yes, Your Honor, we are ready. Very well. But remember, you accuse the wrong person, you'll be penalized. Think very carefully before you speak, Miss Fay. Now then, Miss Faye, what's happened? Who is this? Who's the real killer? Profiles. Who's the real killer? It was Mr. Payne. No, I'm kidding. It was Mr. It Payne. It was Dahlia. <laughs> it was Mr. Payne all along. It was Dahlia. <laughs> it was Doug Swallow. He killed himself. He did. It was suicide. Take that! It could have only been you. Dahlia Hawthorne. What? Oh. The defense is grasping at straws. Ten minutes passed between the time the cable broke and the time of the electrocution. What exactly were you doing that whole time, Miss Hawthorne? Were you really listening to some music while cheering them both on as they fought? 
I find it hard to believe that you didn't lift a finger to stop the men dearest to you. Order, order. Miss Faye. What, what, I mean, why, that is to say. Miss Hawthorne, I believe, I believe you did the witness the, wait, what? You did I believe you, this. okay. <laughs> I believe you did witness the two men fighting on that day. However, after Mr. Wright pushed the victim and su subsequent <laughs> subsequently left the scene, it was you who pushed Mr. Swallow to his death by your very own hands. Ah! How can you say something so mean, Madam Faye? I... I didn't do anything. Miss Faye, this is a very serious charge you are... What? Huh. That was Phoenix. Hi, Phoenix. Your Honor, please, I have something I want to say. <coughs> You! What is it? No, Phoenix, go home. Please, please take everything that I just said now from the record. What the? Are you daft? You're totally wrong, Miss Faye. Dolly, she... She can't do anything like that. No, look at his pants. Weirdo. Mr. Wright, get back in your seat. Bailiff, grab that man. Uh... <laughs> Leave my Bailiff dolly alone! Some into that man. <laughs> <laughs> Bailiff grabs him and he's like, Get a hold of yourself, Mr. Wright! <laughs> Mystery voices. I think that's Grossberg. Maybe. Oh, you're right. What's the zipper? <laughs> 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 he's cutting himself away in over his head. Oh, Mr. Grossberg, you're back. Seems to have arrived just in the nick of time. I found the police report in the incident in your newspaper clipping. Ooh, a police, police report. report. Add it to the court record. Thank you so much. This is exactly what I was hoping for. You better take a good look at it. It uh, details how you came to lose your boyfriend. My boyfriend? What? <laughs> And then that. That lawyer was my boyfriend? What? <laughs> and on that shocking revelation, next time, uh, uh, accusations and uh, reading and stuff. Bye. Oh.